Hello there, everybody. This is Jess Legend here recording my um, reaction. And sorry if this recording sounds bad. You know, I'm using an app, and wow, this is very loud. Nintendo Direct. What is this? That went on for like five minutes. Wow, way too long. I'm, I'm not mad about it. I'm just saying, wow, it was a really long announcement trailer. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. Yeah, I wasn't. Those weren't too interesting. Not to be rude, just respectful. I just didn't find it very interesting. Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. I think I got spoiled. I got spoiled on Animal Crossing Super Mario suits. And I think something about Splatoon. I think like Splatoon 3. I was kind of spoiled on that too. A little bit. But everything else, no. Yes. No. Yeah, let's continue. Mario Golf. Again. I wonder if they're gonna, um, the latest installment of the Mario I was gonna say, I wonder if they're gonna do a similar, like, thing what they did with Mario Tennis Aces, where it's like, oh, there's a story mode. <laughs> Bowser's gonna marry Peach if you beat him at this game of golf. <laughs> That'd be really silly and stupid. Enjoy golfing with In a good way. Looks really good. Look at Bowser. Features on the green. I feel like no one predicted this. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by huh. holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game. My swing is really weirdly, but okay. Enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario. Oh wow! Including this one, speed golf. Here, speed golf. What the heck? Everyone tees off at the same time. Then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. I didn't know this was Mario Kart racing. Wait, why did I say race? No, not my heart rate. That's a stupid name. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? I knew it. character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various... I wonder if this is canon. I predicted this would be story mode because Mario Tennis Aces did the same thing. Why does Wario look like a cowboy? It even comes out around the same time Tennis Aces did. Wow. So like right now because the presentation technically ended. Adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. <laughs> Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Assassins. Wait, I've, aliens? I've never been too into the, um,. No more heroes, hero city, or not, no, no more, no more heroes games. I've never been to it. No, I, I probably should check it out. I saw the trailer for this two years ago. I want to say. I just noticed there's a switch on his fist. If I show this in my compilation of games that I'm reacting to that are interesting. I'm probably gonna put this in here because my sister does really like this show. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision. This on their channels. I feel like my sister, if she watches this compilation, she's gonna be really excited. Is this Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah, Plants vs. Zombies. 
No. I, I was like really mad. I was like, why come, come? How come this game isn't on Switch? And I don't really play that many Plants vs. Zombies shooter games, but you know. Yeah, because a lot of games are like very um, over. Not overwatched, but like over, like, um, like no one paid attention to them. Like, like, like no one's like, I'm gonna put, not gonna put, the, I'm not gonna put this game on um, Switch. But, you know, finally it's coming to Switch, so you know. A walnut. I believe in Garden Warfare Two, like the villain was like a gnome or something like that. Plants vs. Zombies has become something else over the years. That was a terrible attempt to do a jump scare. Super brains. I remember I was obsessed with Plants vs. Zombies as a kid. I used to watch a bunch of Zack Scott videos of him playing um, Garden Warfare. But you know, this is, essentially, this is Garden Warfare 3, but they call it Battle for Neighborville. Who will join you in Wait, are they remaking this for Switch? Oh, wow. Yeah, I was about to say, wow, I'm actually really excited for this. Metopia. Huh. Because I was like, Metopia was kind of underrated, and I kind of didn't want to play Metopia. I was probably going to have it, I was even gonna, probably going to play it in my channel. I was probably going to have it, like, be, like, the 100th Let's Play to, like, celebrate, you know. Wow, they actually, yeah, a very underrated Switch game. Even though I haven't played it, but it did look very interesting. That's a little weird. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. Don't make it weird. This can give you an advantage during battle. Wait, he has like swirly cheeks. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty bad. Okay, this is an important, it's more of a remake, and what the heck was, was weird? Why does that horse look like a bull? Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp, Metopia. Yeah, lighthearted, you should see the ending. Just kidding, the ending's not that dark, but still. Yeah, I was like, cause I, I felt that game really interesting when it first came out in 2017. I was like, I might buy it. Yeah, I spoiled for this. So I feel like there's more Nintendo things being announced now. I was spoiled for this. Hey, look, Luigi. <laughs> I like the jingle. Da, 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 da. I feel like they're going to do a Legend of Zelda one sometime. Hey, look, Wario. I feel like someone's gonna try to recreate. Re I feel like Game Explainer, someone's gonna try to recreate like level one dash one or something like that. I know. I was about to say someone's gonna try to recreate like the levels or something like that. I stopped playing Animal Crossing like I want to say like in June because I kind of got bored a little bit. Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March first. Huh. Luigi outfit. A lot of things. Lakitu, I saw that. Okay, okay. We hope you continue enjoying life on your Coming island. February 25th, okay. How was that? Are you getting out something big? Will be as part I was spoiled on Splatoon 3, so if I'm not that surprised about Splatoon 3, I'm sorry. DLC for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoy that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another. Just gonna randomly just to talk about that game for no reason. What is this? From Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yes. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? What about Ellen the Bounty Hunter? That, that's a great animation goose where it's made, which is going to make a sequel later on. Why am I announcing random YouTube animations and, like, oh, hey, look, Star Wars. Why am I announcing like, random YouTube animations in the Nintendo Direct? It's weird. Hmm. 
Star Wars Hunters. Huh. Probably worth checking out. Okay. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo. <laughs> I like how it's canon in the Star Wars universe. I'm a Star Wars fan myself, by the way. In today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Next, I have not so far. Take a look at this. What is it? Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma. Producer of the Legend of Zelda. Oh, no, they announced the, uh, um, the, 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 the Legend of Zelda equivalent. Oh, no, they're gonna announce Breath of the Wild. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Yeah. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring They're gonna show us, like, the 3D All-Stars Legend of Zelda. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Or is he just gonna toss that? you're all waiting, however, this oh, he's Legend gonna. of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, uh, what are they going to show us? I'm not too much of a Legend of Zelda fan, so sorry if my knowledge isn't a little slim, but I am kind of excited. Is it going to be Skyward Sword? It's going to be Skyward Sword. Yes, it's going to be Skyward Sword. I, I just bought the game for $20 on Wii U. I could just bought it for Switch. I'm not mad at anything. But it's like really, ah, yeah. I actually want to play it. Because it's the first game in the timeline. It looks really nice. Magic says, like, coming out this Friday. Actually, I believe The Legend of Zelda 35th Anniversary is happening later this, um... Actually, it's this week. I believe it's, like, on Saturday. So, they're probably gonna be, like, Friday. Yeah. HD. Okay, so not a collection. I actually didn't really... I bought this game on Wii U. Oh, man. I knew I should have waited. Is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Yeah, I'm aware. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console. And yeah, and that game was released for the 25th anniversary of Legend of Zelda. I don't even know not, not, nothing about Legend of Zelda, but yeah, I know about about this. Well, so I just wasted twenty dollars. Does anyone want to give me twenty dollars? You know, just you know, give me a link to your credit card or something. You know, just give me the credit card. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you uh -huh. can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. Well, if you're not playing and the, the you can that other control. actions like using both controllers. They're trying to make it be it was originally for Wii. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch. So we obviously did know they were doing something for the twenty, the thirty-fifth anniversary. You know, we all saw it coming. But uh, some people thought it was gonna be like a collection, like they did with the uh, Super Mario Three All Stars, which I'm looking at right now because it's it's hanging up as a case on my table. I don't know. I had to mention that. Swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. What? Especially oh, I thought it was going to be another game. I might buy those. You know. I want to become a Legend of Zelda fan because it does look like an interesting series. So that's why I wanted to buy Skyward Sword, which was the first game in the series. But they took 20 of my dollars already. I should have waited, though. around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, it's the first game that takes this timeline, so it's a perfect game for people. Right. Oh, available July 16th, oh wow. Why could they just release it like on Friday, considering Saturday's the 35th anniversary? And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the weird. at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, uh -huh. and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ramps. Looks like a very nice and neat game. I'm really excited because I always, like... 
play. I always had to percent complete a game on my own time in the for in uh, Breath of the Wild. Not Breath. Not Breath of the Wild. Skyward Sword. I was gonna start having percent complete my own time on Saturday when the or was it Saturday? No, I, remember, I think it was Sunday. Is when the thirty fifth anniversary of Legend of Zelda is. Yeah, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. I remember. And then the next, and then next week is like the anniversary of Pokemon. I'm very confused. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. I know. Looks really good. I might buy it this summer. Looks really good. Yeah, I'm not a huge Legend of Zelda fan, but I do want want to play that game. Well, I have it for my Wii U, so I'll just play that. Is it Platoon Three? I was kind of spoiled on that. Yeah. The only thing I was really excited about was um, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. So you know that was nice. Not actual gameplay footage. What is this? What? Inkling girl. Why are you out in? I was just following the whole trailer. I just know the game exists, but I don't know what's gonna happen. What the? Then what? What the heck? What is it? What is it? An apocalypse? Isn't that the salmon? Don't tell me you can get to customize them. You have a little buddy with you? What? Yep. What the heck is going on here? So obviously this is the story mode, I would assume. The Eiffel Tower upside down. So this does, does, so this does take place in the apocalypse of Earth. I should make like a theory of, like all Nintendo games connected and then like Pikmin takes place first in the timeline and like and like what the heck? What the heck is this? I thought they were gonna save this game for like the Switch Pro or something like that, like you know, the next Switch. Because like the Wii U had a, a Splatoon game and the Switch had a Splatoon game, which is Splatoon 2. I feel like they would have waited, but no. This is actually a little funny. Look at that fish guy. It's so awkward. Is this the new Inkopolis? Why is he trying to splash it? Why is it getting loud? Is he doing the wall and a wall? What? Let's go play the theme song. Splatoon 3! Hmm. That was really interesting. So you have like a salmon with you? I believe you, that was a salmon because in salmon mode they looked like that. Well, only in the story mode I would assume. And then what, what's with this like... What the heck? Da 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 Wow, that's really interesting. Huh. And then what? It was like a crab. It's like a robot crab. Please show us a glimpse of story mode. There's only like a minute left. Back into the ink. 2022. Oh, okay. Imagine that's when, uh, it's not even for Switch. It's probably like for like the next version of Switch. What's going on? I do hear bubbles. Just seen oh. is the latest installment in the Splatoon series. Yeah, it looks very interesting. This is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. I mean, it looks like they got a few things done. I'm not saying that it's like, I want the game now because it looks like it's already done. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying it looks like they have a few things already done. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Uh huh. Thank you for yeah, it was a really good one. Besides, you know, I was a little, I was a little bored halfway through, but you know, it was, you know, they announced good stuff. I was especially excited for Legend of Zelda, even though I'm a Legend of Zelda fan. Very, very good stuff.